My town has a busy traditional main street. And Morgan Glen, one of Scotland's most beautiful Glen walks. Oh, one of the toughest racetracks in the UK. <laughs> my town, my my town is Blackhall. Unlike many towns, Lark Hall still has a very busy main street and its shops are varied and you can buy anything from electrical goods to a wedding outfit. And we still have a co-op here and that is good because Lark Hall was one of the first towns to open a co-op. Well here we are in the heart of Morgan Glen. As you can see it, it is one of the most beautiful Glen walks hasn't changed for hundreds of years. If the old Dukes of Hamilton came charging down here just now, they, they would see it now as it was then. In fact, another good beautiful walk from here is to their old hunting lodge at Chartlerow. Made up path all the way, another beautiful walk. The landmark of the Glen is the big viaduct, built in 1904 to link the railway line between Lark Hall and Stonehouse. Closed in the 1960s, and over 170 feet high, it's supposedly the biggest viaduct in Scotland. Of course, trains no longer come here, but they do come to Lark Hall again, with two trains an hour to Hamilton and onwards into Glasgow, a first-class service. As a boy, I spent many happy hours in this glen, a fantastic playground. I learned to swim in this river here. We didn't have the fantastic leisure centre in those days. I also learned to fish identify the very many species of bird life eh, that, that's here. And a lot of this is now is thanks to the friends of Morgan Glen who have brought this back to the fantastic glen that always was. Here we are further down the river at Mohew. Just up the bank is the famous Apple Bank Inn. It's been here since the early 1700s. A nice place to stop for a drink after that lovely walk up the glen. Told it's haunted by the black lady. Well, I've been in it many times and the only spirits I've seen have been on the gantry. They're going to have a cycle path all the way from Glasgow to the Apple Bank. That's been funded by the Sustrans project, which people had to vote for. I cast my vote and I'm certainly glad we got it. Further down the river from me, just a short distance is the famous bleach fields. Well, of course, hand loom weaving was the first major industry in Lark Hall and the weavers sent their linens down here to be dyed. The Lark Hall and Pleasance Building Society was started in 1814 and it was at that time that they were able to loan money to the weavers in order to build their cottages for their industry. There were so many homeowners in Lark Hall that it became known as the town of the Bonnet Lairds. Lark Hall has a lot of housing to offer. You have the modern, you can have council housing, or like this, you can have the traditional housing. This is the new Norfolk Line distribution centre. Big refrigerated trailers leave here daily, delivering chilled salmon and seafood all over Europe. Larkol is developing a bit of a niche in this industry, probably because of its close proximity to the motorway networks. In fact, even now the National Health Service for Scotland have opened up a big procurement centre supplying the whole of Scotland from their depot at Canderside Toll. Many years ago, Dax Simpson were the major employers in the town, manufacturing high quality clothing. It was a sad day for the town when they closed, but also for many of us who enjoyed their many sales days. But things are changing and improving. A good example is Ashgill Electronics, who design and manufacture components for the electronics industry. Despite the many changes of employment in the town, people of my age will never forget that Lark Hall was traditionally a mining town. In fact, I've been researching my family history uh, and all my forebears were, were, were miners. In fact, I discovered that my great-great-grandfather was killed in the Summerlee Plit explosion of 1861, which killed a lot of the miners that day. 
The history of Lark Hall has been captured in a beautiful mosaic which can be seen at Glenview Park. The local heritage society worked on this project with Changing Places who are helping to regenerate the area. The names of two of the greatest campaigners for working people, Miners Leader Robert Smiley and Keir Hardy, who founded the Labour Party, are closely associated with the town. People of Lackhall still care about each other. For example, we still have the Lackhall and District Volunteer Group, who provide a lot of good services to the community. Lackhall is a great place for young people too. At the Leisure Centre, you can go to the gym, you can go swimming, and there's plenty of classes. Next door is the new Lark Hall Academy building, which is soon to open. The primary schools are also getting new buildings, two of which have already opened. There's universal connections in the hyper cyber in the main street. This has really helped me and I've really enjoyed it and it's got me loads of sporting qualifications. If you really like to live life in the fast lane, then come to Summer Lee on the first Sunday of every month. It's Scotland's premier raceway, run by the West of Scotland Karting Club. Some of the greatest names in racing history have been loved this course, including David Coulthard, Lewis Hamilton and Ali McNish. I hope you've enjoyed a look at our town. Our twin town is Seclin in the north of France, where they would usually say au revoir or abiento, but in Larkhall, we say cheery. <laughs>